Okay, now we wanted to show you uh, after we've got this lower panel installed. You can see the lower panel's in. Valley flashing is in. The gable cleats with the uh, butyl sealant tape under and above. Uh, and also notice that uh, we've extended the lower panel 12 inches up past where the higher panel is going to be. The higher panel is going to hem here 12 inches of coverage underneath there. That's uh, uh, very important for any kind of, uh, of an overlap. Also, uh, the, the center of the valley flashing, this is optional if you want to close this off. Uh, you can put a cut in it, do a couple folds to close that off uh, to keep bugs, debris, anything from getting up underneath the valley. Also, if you want to introduce heat trace uh, in your valleys, uh, the best place to put that is actually underneath the valley. Uh, it'll heat up the valley metal. It'll keep ice, snow from forming. Also, um, you don't have any issues with snow and ice trying to rip this off if you've got it mounted on the top. So we would recommend putting that underneath. Also notice that we have six inches open in the center of our, our valley. That gives plenty of room for ice, for snow, for water, for any leaves build up. You want to give enough room for this to flow off of here easily. All right, now notice on the valley cleats that we've stopped our screw just short of the, the, the panel. You want to make sure that you don't put a screw that's going to catch the panel and the plywood and it's going to fix the panel in place. We still want this panel to be able to move. Now how this panel gets fixed is by the upper panel that Steve's going to bring over. Now a couple things with this. Notice we've got it hemmed and what you're going to do, you're going to hook it on this cleat. Alright, now when we cut this part out, what we did, that allows the upper panel to snap and, and grab the previous panel and it, it will hold this panel down. Now after you've got this snapped in place, what you want to do, fix the high side of the upper panel just like we did the previous panel. They always must be fixed at the high side. Now we want these two panels working as one unit. We don't want them moving independently. Uh, uh, and, and a way to fix this panel is to attach it to this which is fixed at the top. Now once you snap this in place, Put some pop rivets. I would put one every two inches. You want to get at least five or six of them in that 12 inch run. Pop rivet the seams together. Now make sure that you pop rivet on the lower portion. You don't want to get any penetrations where your sealant is. That way uh, if any water gets into your pop rivet, you've still maintained your seal. Water will come out of the, uh, out of the seam and run down the panel. 